James, thank you so much for letting me film this. Absolutely. I've been waiting for this. So. Nice. <laughs> so I got multiple modes and it goes right back to your seating position. I'm gonna lean just a little bit. Drive. And then M is what? Manual. Oh, just fully manual. Yeah, so if you push M, it'll bounce off the rev limiter or the only way it'll change it on its own is if you try to chug the engine, mill down. Okay. So right now I'm gonna keep it in manual and just work the paddles because it is a manual. So we'll push a little bit, but I'm sure there's plenty of computers keeping me from doing something insanely stupid. That's a bit, it's, it's, <laughs> it's an LT2 right back there, and I don't want to, and this new car is very expensive. Okay. Oh, that thing got my GoPro loose. <laughs> it does amazing on autocross. Yeah? Well, it's, it's such it's a, a big tiny. car. Well, I guess it was. Well, I guess we're just hearing the, like the wind noise and stuff. In fact, I wonder if the GoPro is going to be able to hear. Well, the GoPro is in calm air. Oh, that's right. I can't see my. I'm no. Have to check myself. That's a. I've done that a lot. You can flip it. There you go. Is it still recording? Yeah, it's still. Recording. So, what does this thing feel like at night? It's excellent. Actually, not only is it good at night, but also in the rain. I've got a video somewhere of uh, looking at that mirror compared to this in the rain, and there's this truck with its lights off, and it's invisible in the mirror. Yeah. And uh, in, in this, it's perfectly clear. <laughs> I'm surprised. I really wasn't press, press, pressing the pedal down that much. Yeah. <laughs> If you if you actually charge up the RPMs a bit on a stop, it'll it'll really kick you. Okay, so the road I'm going to take you on, I like because one, it's twisty. We're going through the hills. We're going up that mountain, right awesome. there. But the road itself is very Pennsylvanian, so we're going to see how adaptable the suspension is. Okay. Everything is very easy. Yep. It's really intuitive. 
stuff. It's it's. Why yeah. do supercars have to be difficult? I think this is proof that they don't have to be. A lot of yeah. times it's engineered, you know. Something difficult is special. Ah. But Corvettes have to be available for everyone to drive easily. Uh, yeah, on tighter roads like this, I, when I drove the Integra up these roads, I was way more aggressive. This, well, see this automatic, go back to one, yeah. Rev hangs just a little bit when it does that. Yeah, and right now it's got the most aggressive uh, uh, traction control setting going too. So it, it's not going to let you play too much. You put it into track mode and turn the traction control off or put it into one of the race settings for traction control. It's instant. This is designed to let you feel a little bit like you're doing something naughty. Or uh, really you're not. This feels like a sit-down arcade cabinet. The square <laughs> steering wheel makes me feel like I need like two little triggers on the end of this for my machine gun. Demon. Okay. So 